Hey guys, Lonnie out here to shop again. Uh, as you can see behind me, I've been working on hanging some cabinets and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to make a new workstation on this, this wall. This is where I had my tool shelf over here and uh, a bunch of my other miscellaneous stuff with my, my tool wall hanging there. So, uh, But what we're doing now is, since I have put the cabinets up behind me, uh, I no longer have a tool wall. But I really don't want a tool wall, so uh, we're going to make some hangers for some of my tools. Um, right now, we're just going to make a wrench hanger. Uh, I use Craftsman ratchet wrenches a lot, so we're just going to make a, uh, a hanger to hang those. What we're going to use is some uh, two inch by quarter inch uh, cold roll flat stock. Uh, I'll cut that to about 12 inches long. And I'm going to take some 732nd music wire and we're going to bend it. I'll show you what we're going to do right here. This is the music wire that I'm using. It's 732nd. And we're going to cut it at an inch and a half and we're going to bend it. We'll drill some holes in the flat stock. And this is going to be roughly the spacing that I've got. You can see I've got a 516th. Uh, bolt in between each one of them. That's about the perfect spacing for this uh, So Let's get to the bandsaw and we'll cut we need 16 of these So we get 16 of them cut and then uh, we'll cut the flat stock also uh, we'll have to drill 16 uh, 7 30 seconds holes and we'll come back Again, I cut that 24 inches so I can make two of these. since I've already got all the holes drilled in here. But when I get done, I switch this out to a 516th drill bit 
and I'm going to counter drill this just a little bit on each hole. That way when I stick that rod through there, I'll have more to weld around to fill in. stuck one of these inside of here and I've got it sunk in maybe an eighth of an inch I'm gonna put some just no spatter spray on it, spray on here I'll just tack them in for now and then I'll flip it over when I get them all in here and weld it good and solid. And if you're wondering, all I've done is put this in the vise and hit it with a hammer and that's how I got that pinned. is all I've done is just took some washers you can see I've ground them down to where there's a flat spot that way I can tack weld it right there and that's how I'm going to mount this underneath of my top cabinets uh, I'll just bolt it right through here through this hole here so let me get this welded up and I'll clean this stuff up with some acetone put a little bit of paint on it and it'll be good guys that is the finished product I've got it painted I'm just gonna let it dry got both of them as you can see and what this will do this will allow me to take the two brackets that I welded onto here 
and allow me to weld or well to bolt them behind this piece right here and I'll set flush with this bottom edge I'll center it up with the door and there'll be one set hanging on that side one set hanging on that side I uh, I hope you've liked the video if you have please give it a thumbs up share it and if you're a new subscriber or a new watcher I would uh, encourage you to subscribe don't forget to hit the bell to get your notifications every time I upload video. Um, uh, I've been in contact with some uh, companies uh, that have reached out to me. Um, I'll have some new tools pretty soon. I've got plans. Uh, in the future build, I'm going to try to do a little bit more far, as far as editing um, and as far as build quality. I'm going to try to get a little bit better at it. Um, I've got this old Harbor Freight welding cart. I kind of welded that little bracket on the back of it years ago. Uh, future build I want to do is a totally different kind of a, I guess you'd call it a welding cart. Yeah, welding cart, I'm sorry. Also, uh, I'll be doing a uh, portable workstation slash uh, welding table. And I also plan on building an 18 foot car hauling trailer uh, it's the extra wide version plus all of my current projects that I have right here I want to get all these done uh, I actually took the homemade UTV out I rode it and run it about a quarter of a mile and it actually done good I've got to adjust the carburetor just a little bit I have put some different tires on the back of it to raise the back. I'm going to order some front tires because those ones do not hold air. Uh, I've also acquired a golf cart. It is a 1966 Westinghouse. Uh, it's got electric motor on it. I plan on jerking that off of there and putting either a 16 horse twin cylinder or 13 horse um, single cylinder uh, Honda. Uh, so that's what's planned for that. Uh, my son's lawnmower, um, I'd like to start on it next. I actually got my wife into mudding on the mower, so she said she would go with me. So the plans for this is to, whatever motor I don't use on the golf cart, we're going to use on here. But it's going to have four-wheeler suspension up front from a Banshee. I know some people are going to say, oh my God, you're ripping apart a Banshee. Yeah, I've just got that kind of money just to do that. No, uh, I got it from someone. The motor was already cut off, or taken off of it. The frame's been cut a little bit, but I'll take the front suspension and stuff off of it and put on here. Uh, the belt sander. I've got my new RPM gauge in, as you can see. Um, I've got to do all the wiring on it, and that, I think I'm just going to clean this up with some acetone all the raw metal and I'm just going to clear coat it because I like the way it looks raw so uh, that is working out pretty decent for me when I do build the welding uh, table slash work horse or work table um, I think I'm going to go ahead and have my welder on it and also I'll be adding a spot to put my plasma cutter on it also that way all that stuff can uh, be on one table also it'll free up me some room to keep from having that table or that cart rather and also that cart um, it'll also have hopefully that chop saw and I'll let you in a little secret what I'm trying to get uh, what, what they're working with me uh, maybe a mag drill and also a dry cut uh, metal saw so again guys don't forget if you're new to the channel please subscribe um, I've got some interesting projects coming up I hope that you all will like uh, hit the bell beside the subscribe button so you'll get all the notifications until next time God bless you all good night